Hey, how you doing, sir? Hey, how you doing? You're here with ATM Fox or All Time Media. Welcome to the channel, man. How you guys doing? May I have your name? Antonio. All right. People call Tom. me Tom. Call you Tom? Yeah. All right, that's what's up, man. How old are you, Tom? 38. Er, you look young, man. Thanks, man. I try, try to take care of myself, I guess. Okay. So where are you from, Tom? Philadelphia. Born and raised right here in North Philly. Tennessee section. How did you grow up out here? Well, I grew up, um, my mom raised me. Uh, my dad died when I was like five years old. So I, I just grew up with my mom and my family. Pretty decent family, a uh, caring family. Uh, good support system for them too, you know. But uh, it was pretty rough out here um, in Philly. Just growing up around the uh, drugs, people uh, just, you know, hustling, uh, murder, just a lot, it's just a lot to take in out here, man. But um, you just, just kind of stick to your stuff and do what you gotta do, you'll get by, man. Other than that, it wasn't that it wasn't that rough for me. I had a good upbringing. My family took care of me. They, 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 they did their best to raise me. What led to you getting here, uh, Kensington? What led me here to Kensington? Like I said I was I was born out here and I was raised out here. So, um, as far as dabbling with drugs and, and alcohol and um, being an active addiction, um. I really, you know, people ask the question a lot, like, what happened to you? What happened? Why do you do this? Or, or you know, what, what went wrong in your life that, that you use drugs? I mean, my story, I, I, nothing really went wrong too much in my life to where I used drugs. I just, I tried it and I, I enjoyed it. I enjoyed just the release and the, to getting, getting away from reality. You know, um, I grew up angry because of my father's death, but I, I don't blame my drug use too much on that. Like I said, I, just to be honest, I do drugs because I, I like to get high, you know, and I, it's something I like to do, you know, and it helps me to just, just you know, isolate a lot. So it helps me to, to just think clearly and just, just, you know what I mean? We don't have a clear, clear answer on that one. Like I said, I just like to do it, you know what I mean? What's your drug of choice? My drug of choice is, uh, right now I guess fentanyl. I was using heroin when it was heroin until they changed it up to fentanyl now. And um, methamphetamine. Ice, as they, as they call it in the street. How did you end up getting uh, introduced to the substance? I know your family. Right, right. Involved. So I got introduced to it by um, the streets. I was ran the streets a lot as, 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 a, as a kid and um, hanging out in, in trap houses, you know, hustling and stuff like that and in bandos. And um, I started hanging with people from the homeless community. And I, I was snorting. Um, I was snorting uh, heroin because I was smoking crack first, you know what I mean? That was mm -hmm. like, my first twist and man, it was, it was horrible, man. That really let me downhill. And then um, I was snorting, like I said, uh, I got sick one day and I couldn't take it. And uh, a, a friend of mine was a homeless person that I knew, I don't want to expose his name or anything like that, but uh, he hit me with a, or just, just hit me with a rinse from, um, uh, heroin rinse and a rinse, you know, it's just, just whatever is inside the cooker, the cotton, and uh, whatever is inside the cooker with it, the liquid, and you had a little more water and hit me with that. And I felt well instantly. I got a rush from it, and, and it was over from there. I was hurt. Hit you, he shot you up, yeah. He shot me up, yeah. I asked him to shoot me up because I was so sick and I was throwing up and I couldn't move. I, I wasn't, I wasn't familiar with withdrawal symptoms and what the withdrawal was like from the uh, fentanyl from the heroin at that time. But at that time, it was transitioning over to, to it was fentanyl and heroin at the same time. It was terrible, it was throwing up, green bowel, I couldn't really move. It was a scary feeling. And he got me well with that. And he said, he told me about a wrench. I was like, I didn't even know what a wrench was. And he hit me with that wrench and from there, I was hooked. I enjoyed doing it. My addictive nature. Is, is that, so that's how you uh, intake your drug now? Yeah, I shoot up um, through IV drug use. Um, and using, I started when I was 28. I uh, started using um, heroin. And um, it did a number on me. Man, I got really sick. I was homeless on the street. Living inside of a, a trap house, a bando, you know, just a abandoned house. And um, I 
they call it, uh, what's they call it, endocarditis in my heart valve, it's bacteria in my heart valve. I was mm. sick, 130 pounds thin uh, when I went to the hospital and called the ambulance. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, more bad news, you know what I mean? From there on, and um, I went to a rehab program. From there, I went to, uh, I was, um, oh, before I shit out, I was sick in the hospital for like three months. I had an IV pick line in my arm, going into my heart, and you know, I was about to die. My family came and they supported me through it all. And sent me, sent me, they helped me get into this program called Adult and Teen Challenge Ministries mm -hmm. out of South Carolina, North Carolina. One of the best things that happened to me, man, it was very difficult, challenging, but you know, got closer to God, it's a faith based program. Mm. And um, I just was able to discipline and examine myself mm -hmm. and get closer to God, but backslid. And here I am again the spiral of drug use and just at a very crucial point in my life where I'm making a decision. I have to make a decision, you know, I feel like, well, am I gonna use drugs for the rest of my life? Or am I gonna get clean? Again, sometimes I say to myself, you know, just to be transparent and be honest, the worst thing I ever did was tell my family I was gonna get clean. And obviously, it didn't happen. They don't know what addiction is and they, they don't know how to deal with it, so. Does your family uh oh sorry go ahead you can uh, keep saying no problem yeah that's it. does your family know your circumstances as of now yeah they do and they're very supportive too as well I just don't really talk to them as much I don't interact with them as much while well, I'm, I'm in my addiction you know and not not that they don't they don't like me or that they hate me or shun me it's just that I feel like they don't understand me they don't understand addiction and then you know they make it about themselves you know how they feel and, and you know and i understand and i respect how they feel and, and i respect it and I, I i i respect their emotions too you know but at the same time i really can't help or do anything about how they feel because i'm trying to deal with how i feel and you know with my inner demons and with addiction as well too i love them and everything too but it's healthier for me to stay away from them so what's your current living arrangements like out here? Current living arrangement, <laughs> man. Being honest, I was living in living in a, a, a house, a abandoned house, and um, get the electric turned on illegally, get the water turned on illegally, and call it home. Sometimes that's not always the case, but at the moment, I'm now residing. Not even in Philly, I'm staying out in Mania with a, 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 a buddy of mine, you know, a good friend of mine. He allows me to stay there with him every now and then. When I'm, I'm trying to, I'm, I'm actually involved with a program uh, by the name of ODET, mm -hmm. One Day at a Time program. Mm -hmm. Very good people, uh, very nice people that, you know, just want to help you to help yourself, you know what I mean? And they're helping me to uh, get into, a, uh, get a voucher for housing. So like that, I could get an apartment, um, you know, and they help me pay, pay the rent and stuff like that. I'm not too sure on the details, but I am currently um, involved with them, active with them, trying to get that situated. You know, they help me go to doctor's appointments, get my ID, and uh, just, just good people, man. And um, you know, I'll just share that with you guys too, that maybe maybe other people can uh, hear that and um, you know try um, seeking them their help out as well too. Right. Yeah. How are you keeping yourself safe out here? How am I keeping myself safe out here? That's a good question. Uh, well, God, you know, I know I, I know I backslid from God a bit. And I believe in God, you know. I don't want to be too religious about it, but you know, I pray and I, and I ask God just to, to keep me safe. And um, at the same time, I practice awareness. At, you know, alertness. I stay away from certain crowds. You know, mm -hmm. I, I stay away from certain things. I remove myself. You know, and make sure that um that I'm doing what I gotta do to stay out of trouble, stay out of prison, and and, and prevent violence and, and possible murder. You know what I mean? Because that's what happens out here. Actually. How often do you have to see, or uh, you know, uh, how often do you have to see or go through some of them violent, violent alter actions? A lot. Every day, I see every day seeing violence. Every day being a part of violence. My hands, my knuckles are all, you know, you scared. Have to fight up. somebody or Just fighting and, and getting into just self-defense and not to be a bully or nothing like that, you know. 
and, and the people like you know, steal things a lot from, from you out here and the people bully people out here too so just to protect myself I gotta unfortunately I don't like to revert the violence but it's, it's just the only way sometimes out here and um, I do see a lot of violence out here from day to day you know between addicts between drug dealers out here and between even to be honest between the police too as well Join All Time Media's Patreon for exclusive content and behind the scenes content and face to face live video chat. Thank you, guys. The link is in the description below. You want to start a business with YouTube? You want to get started creating a podcast? Purchase our new ebook and get all the information you need for only $10. My name is ATM Ray, and I will offer informative steps, advice, and ideas to seek potential success in YouTube and podcasting. Remember, Get all the information you need for only $10. Link is below or above.